All right, guys. So the name of this uh, neighborhood is Minerva. Minerva. So here in Shella, it's called Colonia Minerva. It's a beautiful colonia, my friends. All right, and I just woke up. I I haven't had coffee yet, so just waking up. So let me share some specifics about Zone 3 here in Shella, Colonia Minerva. Uh, people who may be interested, maybe interested in coming to Shella, rent a house here, live here. I'll try to be specific, okay? Now, what that means is that I don't have, you know, the information on its totality. I don't have the totality of the information. How do you say that in Spanish? No tengo la totalidad de la información. But, you know, uh, so a home, like, you know, this house here, if you want to rent a house like this, and this is because I stay here in this colonia. It's a small home like this, it's probably, well, not probably, I mean, it could vary a little bit, right? Because I asked for information yesterday uh, with the people that I was staying. And so they told me that the rent is 3,500 quetzales. That's about, that's about 450, 500 dollars? No, 400, 450, somewhere around there. Let me see, five times seven. Yeah, okay, 500 dollars. So 500 dollars, but look at this colonia, very nice. I mean, you will get bigger homes here for about 600 US, 700 US. Some, some smaller ones, some smaller ones would be about 300 US, but that would be hard to find. That would be hard to find. So how do you say that in Spanish? Hard to find. Difficile de encontrar. Okay, well, I hope you're waking up. I mean, I did wake up at six. I just didn't want it to uh, come out at 6 a.m. in the morning because I was thinking, well, that's way too early. And my understanding of Shella is that Shella doesn't really wake up that early in the morning. Look at that beautiful home there. I mean, that's a big house. So you're probably looking, you're probably looking at, you know, 1400 US, 1500 US, even 2000 US. It could be more though, because it looks like a commercial space. Yeah, it, it is. All right, guys, so let me tell you something about Shella. And by the way, we are in Colonia Minerva. Uh, so that's that's the street uh, that I'm coming from. So that one right there is uh, 22nd Avenue. This one, I believe, is 21st. Yeah, this one is 21st Avenue. And so I was staying at this uh, RMB. And I was asking prices for people who may be interested in coming to Shella, renting a home, an apartment. And let me let me let me show you you know the streets and the avenues here at this Colonia Minerva. And so uh, finding out a little bit about prices. Okay, so I was talking to the lady who owns uh, the R&B, and she was telling me that you know small house a, 
a modest home of of course it's not gonna be you know a home with lots of amenities it's just gonna be a regular uh old house that was probably built uh at the beginning when the colonia was uh first you know plan i guess she was telling me that uh those homes are being rented for about 500 us dollars now the price the price will go up and that's going to depend in many factors that includes the amenities how many bathrooms and if there is an indoor garage how many cars how many cars can you have inside the home inside the garage uh, but usually the small ones they have uh, you know two actually no three three rooms so that's gonna be three small rooms this is the colonia my friends so it's actually about three small rooms uh the kitchen living room and dining room it's all together one piece one open garage there's a small front yard and a little uh, back patio or backyard and that usually goes for 500 us dollars so i'm giving you that amount in us dollars just in case you are in the US and because I know a lot of people may not know uh, the exchange rate for Guatemala but the exchange rate is it's basically uh, 7.5 7.6 to 1 so that's the exchange rate so then you can get your calculator $500 times 7.6 I believe or 7.5 and that's about 3500 quetzales Coachella is a beautiful city So beautiful city my friends uh, When I woke up this morning waking up It was chilly it was okay And right now it's 8 celsius that's about what 45 fahrenheit 46 47 fahrenheit somewhere around there well take a look at the neighborhood so this is a barrio the neighborhood the barrio now people here in Guatemala may interchangeably say colonia or barrio so you may say colonia or barrio okay so it means the neighborhood the neighborhood when people say this is my colonia, this is my barrio, what we are saying is this is the hood, this is my neighborhood. Well, let me show you what's around, okay? And so I'm trying to stay focused, my friends, in Colonia Minerva. So we're gonna walk a little bit. Uh, this avenue here, it's like a main avenue and it's called Rodolfo Robles. And so going on this direction, you go uh, downtown zone one, which is Parque Central and Historical Center. It's not too far away. So if you're thinking that you want to rent a place here in zone 3 and you're thinking how, how far is uh, historical center from zone 3, well it's not too far away. You also get these little buses, look, school buses. I guess you pay like 5 quetzales and they can take you to the historical center. The other thing is that you can also walk, hola. You can also walk to the historical center. También puedes caminar. You, you can also walk. También puedes caminar. 
Okay, so how do you say you can also walk to the historical center? También puedes caminar al centro histórico. Okay? También puedes caminar al centro histórico. You can also walk to the historical center. Now look, look at that home right there on the corner. So that's a two-story uh, home. Ah, uh, by the way, the one that I was describing for 500 US dollars, it's a one-story home, just like those ones right there. But for example, that one right there, uh, they may be asking, you know, six, 700. Negotiable, negotiable, my friends. Keep in mind, you are in Guatemala. So you can always ask, you know, is there a you know, small reduction? You know, people may ask you questions and they may ask you, well, is it just you? Is it one, two people? And based on that, they may want to give you a reduction, okay? So this is a hospital here. Now guys, going on this direction, uh, you, you will be heading towards zone nine. And right there you got big shopping centers. So there's a lot of shopping centers here in Shella. Oh, Hospital Privado Quetzaltenango. Okay, so this is a private hospital. Well, how's the healthcare system here in Shella? Well, here in Guatemala, you know, a lot of doctors have their own practice. A lot of doctors have their own practice. How do you, how do you say their own practice? Su propia clinica. Their own practice, su propia clinica, okay? So you get lots of doctors here in Shella. Is it expensive? Well, it all depends. It all depends on what the issue is, right? Look, the sun is not even shining. I mean, it is shining a little bit, but because of the, the fog. I mean, there's a lot of fog right there by the mountains. So here's the hospital. Okay, but it is warming up a little bit. Look guys, I'm gonna do a little bit of social service. So it looks like they're gonna build, you know, big building here. It sets down payment, 60,000. And looks like a 15 story building and also homes. Okay, well, there you have it. All right, guys, so, you know, I actually walked there trying to see where the office for, you know, that construction site is, but it looks like it's been there for a while. It's still cold. Está haciendo frío. It's cold. Está haciendo frío. It's cold. All right, so we're going to keep walking here. All right, so as I was telling you guys, going in this direction, you would be going to uh, San Carlos University uh, campus. Ah, well, the other thing I want to tell you about this Colonia, this neighborhood has got lots of these little, you know, small corners. I wouldn't call them a park. But they look really nice, very cute. Muy coqueto, very cute, muy coqueto. So how do you say very cute? 
muy coqueto Okay, and I'm not talking about me, okay? Very good. Very good. No, no, no. This place, guys. This place, okay? And so, right here in this colonia, in this neighborhood, in, in este barrio. Look, people come and exercise here, work out. There's some people running, N not too far away from here. There's another, uh, you know, athletics complex too with lots of installations. I also know there is a swimming pool and, you know, very nice as well. So this colonia is well located. It is in the heart of Shela. It is in the heart of Shela. So how do you say in the heart of Shela? En el corazón de Shela. Now, by the way, I've been making videos in Spanish. So don't forget to check all my videos in Spanish and share my channel. I do appreciate that. Uh, my, my Spanish channel is Chapin Trebolero. You're probably gonna be watching this video there as well, because eventually I'm gonna be, uh, you know, uploading the videos into a different channel so that there's gonna be a channel an English channel and one in Spanish let me go back okay so this is 24th Avenue Colonia Minerva, keep that in mind my friends because I'm trying to be specific to Colonia Minerva in Shela. I'm trying to be specific. Estoy tratando de ser específico. I'm trying to be specific. Estoy tratando de ser específico. Now, to a lot of people, that's going to be, yeah, Luis, yeah, we got it. And how do you say, yeah, yeah, we got it? Si, sí, si, sí, ya entendimos. <laughs> so how do you say, yeah, yeah, we got it? Si, sí, si, sí, ya entendimos. Hola. So this is the, so this is like the football grounds here, I guess, you know. Okay, well, the door's got a lock, but as you can see, you can slip in there. <laughs> Se puede entrar, ¿verdad? Sí, okay. So, we're gonna come in. Gracias. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing the jogging, but as you can see, it's open to the public. So, the door is kind of locked, but not really locked, right? <laughs> Look, I mean, you can do, you know, stretch out a little bit and you're still within the neighborhood. So that's a good thing, right? So how do you say that's a good thing? Esa es una buena cosa. How do you say that's a good thing? Esa es una buena cosa. O cosa buena, the other way around. <laughs> Gracias. So that's a good thing. Eso es cosa buena o buena cosa. You can say it either or guys. Benches, bancas. Benches, bancas. So, what do you think about me sharing Shella to all of you who may be interested in coming to Guatemala retirement, maybe? So, how, how about retiring in Shella, Guatemala? So let's say uh, 
let's say you, you you are a student i don't know you probably be in the medical field you're becoming a doctor a nurse and because there are lots of latinos where you live you feel the need to come and you know experience the culture and learn spanish well guatemala is a good place and see that's what i was saying about this colonia it's got these little places like i mean you know small green areas i guess it was left on purpose so i guess the intended idea might have been as a loop you know but it's, you know at the time i don't know when this colonia was uh designed but you know maybe at the, at the time there were not many, many too many cars you know and so people didn't exactly know how to do the loop and instead of doing that they just did a square green space and they left that space for everybody and so it looks like a cute nice little space nowadays don't you think so don't you think so and i say don't you think so no lo crees no lo crees Así se dice. that's how you say it look they're building more apartments all right so and we're gonna practice some phrases okay guys so don't you think so don't you think so i mean no lo crees no lo crees don't you think so don't you think so okay. and how would you say yes i think so how do you say i yeah. si lo creo i think so si lo creo i think so si lo creo all right so this is the avenue my friends Hospital, Hospital La Paz. Okay, so when it says, whenever you say Grupo Hospitalario, Grupo Hospitalario, um, in English, that would be like, what would be like Grupo Hospitalario? Like medical complex? I think, medical complex. And by the way, that's a that's a big ass hospital as well. <laughs> Very big. It's private though. Oops, I'm sorry. Did I say that word? My apologies. All right. So Colonia Minerva. Colonia Minerva is from where I was coming all the way there which is the big avenue which is Rodolfo Robles still cold and the limits of the Colonia would be right here on 4th Street I think so mm, you know what now I, I do have doubts I'm gonna find out if on the other side is also Colonia Minerva, which I don't think so, but I'm gonna find out. So this is 24th Avenue. All right, I was thinking, you know, in the back of my brain, I was thinking as I was talking to you, I just kept going. I was thinking Grupo Hospitalario. In English is medical group. Yeah, that's how you say it, right? Medical group, because Grupo means group. Hospitalario Medical Group Because it wouldn't be hospital group, it would be medical group Nice little walk in Shella And right there, all the, all the way to the bottom, you'll see a big temple that's called Minerva and by the way, this is 4th, 4th Street, okay? Alright, so based on information from a local citizen 
he was telling me that that's also Minerva. All right, guys, it's also Colonia Minerva because I asked the lady and she said, yeah, it is Minerva, okay? Well, he gave me another name. Someone else told me El Cervecero, but then they said Minerva, okay? So it is Minerva. It has been established. It is by decree established. It is Minerva. So we're not going to fight against that, okay? We are still in Minerva. Now, look, this is a park here within the confines of the Minerva Colonia, El Vecindario Minerva. And so I think it's called Parque Japón. If you're wondering why it's called Parque Japón, well, that probably gives you a clue. Yeah, we're gonna go up just out of curiosity, guys. You know, I've been coming to Shella. I've been coming to Shella for so many years, I've never been to this gondola. I think that's how you call it, right? A gondola. So, so the neighborhood, the Colonia Minerva, as I mentioned to you, I was trying to, you know, stay within the neighborhood. Uh, it ends like two blocks by where Minerva, the temple is. You probably don't see the, the temple, but you see all those pines, the, the pine trees. That's where it ends. Uh, the city is rather large, so it is a... It's not as large as Guatemala City, but still big. So that's Minerva. That's Minerva. And going on this direction, uh, I was told that, you know, two blocks from here, uh, 7th Avenue, that's, I believe that's what he and she said, because I asked two people. They, they both said, you know, that Minerva is going to end uh three blocks from here going on that direction and by the way right there you see another plaza my friends so you got a plaza here and right across the street you have the jew the jew plaza you know for the jewish community shalom shalom to our friends and so that's the plaza right there so that's what i'm telling you about minerva this place got places i mean little corners cozy corners you can sit there Well, how do you find it? Drop your comments, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, share Guatemala. Anyone wishing to support my channel, you can do it through a big thanks. And you can also do it through PayPal. There is a link on the description of the video. I'm gonna walk a little bit to the other side. So the public transportation is like, you know, those small buses, that's public transportation. So this is like the bus stop right here. You see where the gentleman is? So this is like the main bus stop, but not the main, it is one of the bus stops here, okay? Look, so it is small mini vans. There are bigger buses, okay, so yeah. you will also see like, you know, bigger school buses from the US. There is one coming, I'll show it to you right now. All right, so you can feel like you're still in school, just in case you flunk. It's never too late, guys. Never too late to go back to school and get that GED, okay? So this is another bus stop right here. And this is another beautiful plaza. I'm sure the name ought to be related, you know, to the Jewish uh, culture. So look, what I'm thinking, you know, is in between this plaza 
on that plaza if they could produce a bridge with some kind of you know nice benches on top put some lights you know it, it would look amazing right but anyhow you know sometimes i do get these ideas about construction i don't know if they're the best but you know i like the idea though all right so remember at the beginning of the video i was telling you that i was going to uh, try to assist you on looking into how much you would pay for a home here if you decide to come and live in Shella, uh, probably retire here now look at those beautiful homes there so you know for a home like that you're easily looking at six thousand to to eight thousand quetzales so that means that you're probably looking probably a little bit more because that one right there on the corner it's a three-story one looks kind of big so that could go up to you know 15 1800 us dollars uh now a lot of people may say well you don't know because you're not asking i, I know guys i know i don't know exactly because i was talking to someone who lives here and she was telling me that before she went and rented that home that she kept looking and she was telling me the prices and what she was finding out and so based on that information and she told me it's exclusive to zone 3 Colonia Minerva she said and that's in this neighborhood so that's the reason why I'm talking about this neighborhood all right so let's review a little bit so how do we say looking for a home buscando casa looking for a home buscando casa how do you say i want to rent a home i want to rent a home i want to rent a home quiero rentar una casa i want to rent an apartment quiero rentar un apartamento quiero rentar un apartamento So how do you say, quiero, I want to live here, I want to live here, quiero vivir aquí. I want to live here, quiero vivir aquí. And how do you say, how much is this home? Cuánto cuesta esta casa? Monthly, mensualmente. How much is this home? Cuánto cuesta esta casa? Monthly, mensualmente. Okay, well, there you have some phrases. Buenos días. Buenos días. Yeah, this is still the same design. So still the same colonia. I also know that there are lots of Guatemalans who have left Guatemala ooh, many years ago. And as time goes on, guys, and the human body, you know, goes through changes, you know, as nature has it, and nature is going to have its way always. So the human body goes through all changes, and we, you know, we start aging, you know, the energy is no longer there, uh, the stamina. It's no longer there, but the drive, the drive remains because, you know, that remains within the spirit of the human being, right? We have strong spirits because that's what keeps us together, you know, it holds us, right? It brings back memories and so that, that spirit that drives, you know, the driven force in, in the human DNA make us make us to uh, go go to places or places that we know places that are familiar and so if you're a Guatemalan who left many years ago and you're thinking about coming to Guatemala and probably you have some savings I don't know you probably have a home something and you just want to come to Guatemala and retire here and live the rest of your life uh, if you want to know how much you would pay for a small home that's 
That's some information. That I also tried to gather last night, talking to this lady and some other people there. And, you know, places that we went, because I went out eating, of course. And so if, I, if you want to have some information on how much you would pay for, you know, small home here, let's say, you know, 10 by 10 or 8 by 8 with small house, modest house. It's not going to be anything impressive, not swimming pool, no, you know, three garage, you know, indoor garage or anything like that. You know, one open garage with small patio and three small bedrooms, kitchenette and everything together. Well, that is selling roughly for half a million quetzales. Now, don't be scared, half a million quetzales is about, let's see, seven times seven, it's about 85,000 US dollars. 85,000 US dollars. Keep in mind that I gave you details. I gave you details about the kind of home okay structure it's not gonna be anything brand new it's gonna be one of those old houses left here from la colonia when the colonia was first built and so yeah those homes probably need a lot of you know work yeah i'm sure they do need a lot of work because i've seen a couple and that's half a million quetzales 85,000 us dollars somewhere around there and then you put some money you know to rebuild it you can you know raise it down to the ground and just build a new one if you want if you're building a new one you're probably gonna be, you're probably gonna be spending about you know one story with you know three four bedrooms you'll be spending about 40,000 us really nice one story if you want to do the second one then you put an additional 40 well, I hope you liked the video. Once again, my name is Luis Villeda. Now, this video is probably gonna go in two different channels, Chapin Trebolero, and the other one that I have not named it yet, but I will, I, I, I'll be sharing it with everyone, because I also wanna introduce Guatemala to a lot of people in English, and I know English is spoken throughout the world. And that's the reason why I decided that it was time for me to go internationally with English. Then later we're gonna do French, okay? All right, well, hang on tight. Bye from Shella, we'll see you on the next one. I'll be staying here a little bit longer. I'll be sharing Shella. Thank you guys. Big hug, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.